Lesson 4.3, Dividing Polynomials. The essential question, how do you use synthetic division to divide? On our next page, we have two division problems and two evaluate problems. I will do the left two with you, and the right two are going to be for you for independent practice. So we are being asked to divide. The very first thing that we need to do when we are dividing is we need to figure out what k is. This is supposed to be x minus k. It's an x plus 3. So the only way that it could have been a minus is if we were subtracting a negative 3. So I just found out that k is negative 3. So here is my synthetic division square. I know that k is a negative 3. So I'm going to be dividing everything by negative 3. I need to make sure that all of my exponents are taken into account. So exponent 3 is the highest exponent. So here is my coefficient for that exponent. I need an exponent of a 2. There isn't one, so there's the 0. Exponent of a 1, there isn't one, so here's my 0. Exponent none, so that's my negative 54. So exponent 3, 2, 1, exponent none. I need to carry down the first term. You always multiply across, so, so negative 3 times 2 is a negative 6. We always add vertically. 0 plus negative 6 is a negative 6. We multiply across, so negative 3 times a negative 6 is a positive 18. We add vertically. 0 plus 18 is 18. We multiply across, negative 3 times 18 is a negative 54. We add vertically, so negative 54 plus a negative 54 is a negative 108. If the highest exponent you started with was a 3, that meant your highest exponent in your answer is going to be a 2. So exponent 2, exponent 1, doesn't have an exponent, which meant this is my constant, which meant your final answer is going to actually be your remainder. So I have a 2x squared that said minus 6x. That was my constant of an added 18. Now I'm going to subtract the 108 all over my divided by was x plus 3. So this is my final answer, and I am done. Our next problem, we are asked to evaluate using synthetic division. So here is my synthetic division box. They are telling us to evaluate at negative 5. So this is what I'm evaluating at. I need to make sure all the coefficients are represented for all the exponents. So my highest exponent is a 3. This coefficient was a 1. So 3, exponent 2, exponent 1, no exponent. So all of the exponents are represented, 3, 2, 1, none. You carry down the first. You multiply diagonally, so negative 5 times 1 is a negative 5. We add vertically. Negative 10 plus negative 5 is a negative 15. We multiply diagonally. Negative 5 times a negative 15 is a positive 75. We add vertically. 31 plus 75 is 106. We multiply diagonally. Negative 5 times 106 is negative 530. And we add vertically. Negative 30 plus a negative 530 is negative 560. So this is telling us when I evaluated the F rule at negative 5, you would have gotten the answer negative 560. And you could double check that by using the order of operations like you did in middle school and evaluating it all the way through. There are two problems left on the page. These two problems are left for you for independent practice, so please take a look at those.